Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of the NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode. I hope you're all having a great day today. We have some NASCAR Legend Series racing coming to you guys today as well as some Truck Series racing here on the channel. We go to Kansas in the Cup Series today by the way, but first we come through into the NASCAR Legend Series presented by Drive Through Designs. This time we were at uh, Drebin Raceway here uh, in the field. We were down in kind of the midfield area, so it wasn't the greatest qualifying effort, but it was still looking a little bit better than that first race attempt that we had a few episodes back. I went in and adjusted some more driver ratings to hopefully get things a little bit better, especially for the content creators of David Schulthouse as well as uh, Michael Cozy Jr. and whatnot here. Uh, as you see me just sliding through into turn three right behind the 19 of Martin Truex Jr., one of the retired drivers in our NASCAR Heat 5 Cup Series side of the career mode as we came to to complete this first and opening lap. As you can kind of see me trying to work my way down to that bottom line there uh, as we head down into three. There you see Ryan Newman up ahead here just as we go up the inside of Travis Brown now on the exit of the corner. Newman won the first race of the series now as we were four wide for a brief moment there into turns one but you can see Joey Stone up ahead Ryan Newman was actually quickly working his way forwards as I send it into turns three uh, now trying to get past that number uh, 20 of Christopher Bell and now as we come through a little bit later in this race on lap 5 of 13 up the inside of Michael Cozy Jr. looking to take over P6 as he's kind of drifting a little bit backwards now as well. We get to the back and into the back of David Schoenhaus there into the uh, third turn. And, and now we're going to be three wide with David as well as Chase Elliott now as we send it off into turns one. But we do clear Schoenhaus and get up the inside of Ricky Sino Jr. And now we would stay ahead of Elliott, get past that house. And now we are in a bit of a battle with Dale Earnhardt Jr. as well as Joey Stone. Kyle Larson was battling it out with Ryan Newman for the race of victory here as we're trying to get our first top five in the series and now on lap 11 of 13 Joey Stone so still, still going at it with myself as well as Dale Jr. as we came through at a turn two into turn three Ryan Newman had now taken the lead in the last couple laps of this race as you can see Austin Dillon was having a terrible run here in the second race as Jr. looks up the inside of Stone I go and make it four wide with two laps to go through turns one and two and now we're side by side with Joey down the back into turn three as Dale Jr. trying to get out of here with the top three as Newman Takes the white flag. I make a mistake. They're getting to the outside wall as we come through the cross line. Joey's still up our inside as we go down into turns one. Right to the back of Dale Jr. Didn't want to get into the back of, the, uh, of him there. So you saw me back out of it now as we sail it off into three and four for the final time. We get up to P3, but too much power. And we hit the wall on the exit of turns four. Stone and Dale Jr. gets us at the line. And we have to settle for P5 as Ryan Newman goes back to back wins here to start off this series. And Kyle Larson again up there uh, in the mix in the top three. So Newman and Larson and so far uh the definitely the strong guys that are going to be hard to beat in this series as you see joey stone myself uh michael cozy jr travis brown all up inside the top 10 david showed how with an improvement but only in p13 there for him as you see uh the four drivers a lap down tyler reddick uh, john colbert uh kurt bush as well as austin dillon jimmy johnson all the way down there in p19 now uh but now we're gonna look at the quick standings there there you see newman 11 points ahead with the first two wins on the season as you look through the rest there with showed down there in the mid-teens and ryan blaney down there in the 20s and whatnot but now we're gonna jump through into the xfinity side of things i accidentally said truck series uh, was in this episode at the start of the episode but no it's actually xfinity series so uh we get ready to go green here at bristol motor speedway with paul menard behind the wheel menard's gotten a couple wins for our going racing team here in the xfinity series already this season as he comes to a track where we are always strong at and not only the cup series but in the xfinity series as well as the truck series so definitely some high hopes and paul he was starting on row number three there in p6 on the outside Sign. So it was already looking like he was going to have a good chance to potentially get win number three on the season for our team here today. Now as he came through out of turn two side by side with Landon Castle as he went down into turn three. It wasn't an opportunity for him to get to the bottom yet. You know, usually in the Cup Series you see me run up on that top lane a lot at Bristol Motor Speedway. But in the Xfinity Series we really like to be on the bottom. And once Paul got down to the bottom he started making up some ground. But unfortunately he lost quite a bit of ground to the front three drivers which had Justin Allgaier, uh, Tony Bradinger as as well as Ty Gibbs now as Bradinger was making a pass on Gibbs and Gibbs would fall quite a ways off now as Menard ran down Ty Gibbs got into the back of him moved him up and out of the groove and went on by on the inside moving up to P3 and now he would try to run down the front two drivers in the closing laps of this race very late now Bradinger passes the seven of Justin Allgaier and Menard was now here into turns one he was not wasting any time he actually gets into the back of the seven gets him sideways out of turns two and has the momentum gets clear of Allgaier down the back straight away but unfortunately just ran out 
of time to run down that 98. Now, as it came through to the final lap, through turn three, out of turns four, down the front straightaway, it would be a runner-up finish for us here in the Cheddar's 300 at Bristol Motor Speedway for Paul Menard. So, I mean, overall... A very solid effort for the going racing team with Menard behind the wheel, so we really cannot complain about that, but it would have been really, really nice to get win number three on the season, but hopefully we can get that very soon now as you see the rest of that finishing order. So now we're going to jump through into the Cup Series race here with the modded custom schedule, and we have Kansas Speedway today. It has been no secret that we've been struggling really hard throughout the season in the career mode. We've had some curveballs, most recently Gateway. We didn't know what to expect at Gateway. I chose the wrong preset, went way too loose, and we paid the price for it. A terrible finish, like 19th or whatever now, as we came through into qualifying now with a goal of a 30.889. And uh, Kansas is a track where I'm very confident we can at least get a top 10 out of it. So if we can get a top 10 here today, I'll be pretty satisfied with that. And we started off with a 31.296 in qualifying. P18 is where we will start for the Hollywood Casino 400 at Kansas Speedway, which isn't the greatest, but that's usually about where we are on a, a decent qualifying effort at Kansas. So I was actually a little bit happy with that now as you look through the rest of the qualifying order down towards the bottom some big names down there again like chase elliott i have changed some more cup ratings once again to see maybe a driver like chase elliott do a little bit better so watch out for that here today now as we go towards the top 10 up on the front row it's going to be austin Cindric with pole and kyle bush and p2 sam mayer as well p3 and Haley deegan p4 all right boys the last week was not a good one i'm sure we can rebound today this is a track we've done pretty well in the past i mean we haven't ever really been in the mix to win here but it's going to be a nice step in the right direction if we can get a good result today there you hear myself on the radio now as we're going to get ready to take the green flag in the Hollywood Casino 400, trying to step up this performance of this team. And last episode I said, you know, it's pretty much time to hit the panic button. It's not been going well for us. We're in serious trouble after Gateway. I mean, I mean, we're really not in a bad position in points. So, I mean, we're probably going to make the playoffs at this rate that we're going. But, I mean, that's not going to get us anywhere near a championship. And that's at the end of the day what we need to be going for now is we are the defending champions of the Cup Series now as the green flag is out and we are underway at Kansas Speedway. Now, you saw Joey Logano. He's sent to the back of the field, so uh, we should not have to worry about him for quite a while now, at least through Stage 1 and hopefully the majority of Stage 2. As you guys do know, he is a rival, of course, now for multiple, multiple seasons here as we go down into Turns 1 and 2 of the inside of our teammate of Alex Bowen. We clear him on the exit of Turns 2, down this back straightaway side-by-side -side with Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in that sixth car. He hasn't had the greatest uh, comeback to Rush Fenway racing this season, but he's been doing subpar, to say the least. Now, as we're up to the back of the 12 of Daniel Hamrick as he looks up the inside of Harrison Burton. I'm not wasting any time either here in this Dr. Pepper Camaro right now as we come through the trioval. There you see that 45 of Derek Crossbury and having a bit of a subpar season here, a second season in the Cup Series. Now as we go down into turns one, Hamlin in P10 in his final season of his Cup Series career. I'm not wasting any time. I said four wide to the outside and we pass Haley Deegan. We pass Anthony Alfredo now as we have Burton up our inside to get held up behind Christian Eckes in the Red Bull. Eckes has been having a very, very strong rookie season so far with this Red Bull racing team doing a lot better than what Casey Kane did in that car. And of course, Red Bull used Casey Kane just to kind of get an idea of where they need to go in the future. And clearly, Casey Kane gave them a good idea. Now, though, on the exit of turns four on lap three, four wide again here as we exit turns four with my own driver of my own car there, Daniel Suarez, in that going racing yellow heart Camaro. So we pass him already up into P4, but three turns one and two on lap four. I make a bit of a mistake there. Clip the outside wall in the exit of turns two, but what a tremendous start nonetheless. We move up to P4 after starting in the, what, P19 or whatever it was, so or P17 or something like that. So now on lap six, as we went down into turns one, actually trouble behind us. Todd Gilliland goes crashing along with the Mercedes driver of Lewis Hamilton gets involved, and the caution is going to come out all of a sudden here at Kansas Speedway. So we run P4, a great start. William Byron now leads away over Kyle Busch and Eric Jones. Everybody stays out, and we get ready to take the green flag on row number two. Eric Jones in that McLaren on my inside. He's had a very, very strong season so far. Probably the best start that McLaren team's ever had. His teammate, however, Ryan Blaney's had quite a few struggles. He is right in that kind of borderline position on the playoffs right now. But, of course, there's still plenty of time to go now. It's Cole Custer in the 29 for Kevin Harvick Incorporated. Well, he's actually up inside the top five right now, and he's had a very rough season uh, now. As the switch over to Harvick's team really hasn't, I guess, been the boost that he was looking for now, or hoping for as we go down into turn three. 
and for and of course you're going to see me running this outside line for the majority of this race last time we came to kansas, uh, kansas last season uh, i actually had to kind of drop my line down in turns three and four i think it was uh because we were starting to really struggle so hopefully we don't have to do that today as i just feel way more comfortable running up top as you see cole custer make it three wide with eric jones as well as kyle bush and move up into second place behind william byron byron with the earnhardt johnson racing team now in their third season together in season one they won a race made the playoffs did nothing last season they were very consistent missed uh, their really opportunity of being good in the playoffs because they couldn't win any races so here in season three once again running strong it'll be interesting to see if they can win any races but i had absolutely nothing for those front four drivers we got straight through to the final lap now of stage one running though p5 a great run we got going so far here today at kansas speedway cole custer leading the way out of turns two down the back straight away as our tire icon was on for that right front specifically it was down to 12 percent that's not going to be an issue here as we go down this back straight away into turn three for the final time behind us you got noah gregson you got chase briscoe gregson and briscoe have had very rough starts to the season and here they are in stage one having some strong runs inside the top 10 to come through and get stage points along with my Itself, who crosses the line for P5 in stage one and other than the Daytona 500 I think that's actually our best stage finish all season long so very very happy with that we have yet to collect a single playoff point and that's really where the concern is now uh, as I was also looking at our past statistics from our championship season last season and after uh, this point in the season last season we had about a hundred more points almost than we do right now so that's kind of really showing you the struggles that we have right now going this season that's over about what two and a half almost three full races of less points we have currently this season so we definitely need to step it up to say the least here as you see Cole Custer though with the stage victory gets a playoff point for Kevin Harvick incorporated now uh, as we of course are going to come into the pit lane for two cans of field as well as four fresh tires Todd Gilliland has DNF'd from this race here as we get ready to go back green on the second row now on the outside in P4 stage two gets underway the green flag is out and now at Kansas Speedway it is time to get amped here in stage two There you had Amp. We dropped down to P7 at the start of the stage. You saw myself get into that outside well for now the second time in this race. This time we did a little bit more visual uh, damage to the right side of the car. Fortunately, it wasn't really performance impacting, but now we've got some faster cars up here in the mix like Noah Gregson, like Chase Briscoe. As you saw them at the end of stage one, really starting to hunt me down, and now here they are mixing it up up front. And unfortunately, I was losing ground to those front six drivers, and now our arrival of Joey Logano on lap six of the stage, he had actually run myself down as we came through at a turn so he started at the back of the field due to i think it was an inspection issue or something like that and now here he is into turn three trying to make a move up my inside so clearly that 22 of logano has a lot of speed just last episode at gateway he picked up his first win of the season here in the career mode now as he's really had some very subpar seasons throughout the career mode here uh now as he's really trying to step it up this season specifically as we would now lose that spot to him now on lap 11 you see me cutting down to the apron just trying to to do my best to just maintain with joe but he was so fast compared to myself at this point but it was starting to kind of come around to my advantage a little bit to where he wasn't really pulling away too much so we come through a little bit later in the stage now some trouble actually up ahead of us now Logano slows up everybody slows up Daniel Hemrick Logano's teammate in the 12 car is actually blowing an engine and he stayed on the track that allows myself to get ahead of Logano move up into P7 then the caution 
comes out and ends the second stage due to that 12 car of Hemrick's issues, and he is now going to be out of the race here at Kansas Speedway. So now we are going to once again come into the pit lane, take two cans of fuel, as well as four fresh tires as Chase Briscoe picks up the stage victory here in Kansas. There's a pretty good balance of the car, boys. I'm actually pretty happy with it, and I feel like for the first time this season, we kind of are getting to adjust the car in a, in a good way instead of trying to just find something and just hope for the best now. As it actually seems like we have something that's worth fighting for today, so uh, I think we'll have a good shot here in Stage 3. There you hear myself on the radio now as we're going to get ready to go green for that third and final stage. You see Lewis Hamilton down there in what P31. Not a great day for him as expected here. Still adapting to the oval side of NASCAR now as we get ready to go green for stage three. Noah Gregson now on the front row alongside Chase Briscoe as a green flag is back out in the third and final stage is underway. Joey Logano immediately trying to get into my door. I try to pull uh, over to the left a little bit just to make sure we don't run into each other now as we go down towards the turns one. Logano right to the back myself and unfortunately into turns one he is going to get to my back bumper so we've got to be really careful here to make sure he doesn't try and take us out or something and now to turns two so far it was actually pretty good now as I use his push to actually make it three wide with Eric Jones as well as William Byron as we send it off into turns three and now Logano's to my outside but we get clear so he's probably going to drop down right there and now out of turns four he has a chance to actually give me a big push and I was trying to use that to my advantage but unfortunately we lose connection with him right there so our run kind of stalls out as we complete that first and open lap of stage three now as Cole Custer leads away into turns one once again the Logano gets to the back bus this time he's pushing us up the track and out of the groove and now Logano goes by on the inside we make a little bit of contact here down the back straightaway but you know what there was really nothing dirty going on of course we were running into each other a little bit but nothing fortunately came out of it with like an incident or something now as we came through at a turns four running P7 but it definitely felt like stage after stage the car was starting to get a little bit worse compared to the competition now as we finish worse in stage two we did in stage one and right now you can kind of see that we got now some pressure from drivers like Tyler Reddick as well as Chase Elliott now as Gregson and Custer are going at it for the lead here in Kansas Speedway and uh, both of those drivers still looking for their first career wins here in the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode as we exit turns four though now a little bit later on lap 43 Eric Jones up my inside here as we came through the triangle with 24 laps remaining in the race and a green flag pit stop will be necessary if it does stay green here now as Jones gets past looks up the inside of Joey Logano and he has a lot of speed in that McLaren once again now on lap 44 though trying to make a move up the inside of Joey Logano did not expect to be able to even get anywhere near passing this 22 but here's our opportunity in the turns one I'm gonna sail it off into the corner and try to pass him and he says no you're just gonna run into the back of me and he's gonna move me up the track and now we actually drop back down to P8 so we're gonna have to try again on Joey if we can stick with him so sure enough out of turns four on lap 48 we had actually maintained with Logano so his car clear not as fast as there's trouble right in front of us so Eric Jones goes crashing right in front of us we nearly slam into the side of him I cut down to the apron fortunately we do not hit him the caution comes out here in Kansas with 19 laps to go a big incident right there for Eric Jones now as this is going to force everybody into the pit lane I knew I once again didn't have the speed to win this race I said you know what even though points right now the way the season has been going is very important for us and we run P8 I said we're just going to throw four tires on the car anyways and give up some potential track position so hopefully at the end of this race really have a nice advantage especially if a caution comes out now as you look through the current running order on your screen so Hemrick and Gilliland the two DNFs and of course Eric Jones with that big crash right there bringing out this caution here which could be the last restart of the day for us here in Kansas Speedway. So now down to P20, we gave up 12 positions, but I am confident we can make up those 12 positions here in about 17 laps time now Now as we're back underway, but a big stack up right there on the restart. So I slow way up, unfortunately, and that destroys everybody's momentum as Noah Gregson leads away. Christopher Bell just behind myself. Daniel Suarez for that going racing car moves up the inside, completes the pass here as we're going to have to try and get a move on it very quickly now at this point as we go down this back trade. So Suarez running P23, not the greatest day for the going racing team so far now as we send it off into three i'm gonna jump right up to that top of course and try to make a three wide with my teammate of alex bowman alex bowman struggling quite a bit this season definitely uh nothing like what he had last season with this 48 team now as hendrick motorsports as a whole has uh, been struggling quite a bit of course now uh, as we pass that 41 of uh, brad kozlowski but hendrick motorsports hasn't won 
uh, a single race this season in the career mode and we're almost now a quarter of the way through the season by the way here as we exit turn two on the outside now of Anthony Alfredo we get to the back of Timmy Hill who seems to be finding a little bit of speed with that Chip Ganassi racing team so don't count them out just yet now as he's had a terrible start to his season now as we're to the back of that 16 of Justin Haley and that colleague racing team their second season in the cup series now as we push him trying to pass Matt DiBenedetto and get to the outside of Ryan Blaney there in the McLaren as we go on into turns one Kyle Busch battling for the lead with Noah Gregson right now as I'm going to try and slice to the middle here between the 16 and the 40 out of turns two and now we're going to be three wide middle down this bag straight away towards turn three who's going to get the better run into the corner it looks like the 16 gets a pretty poor run so now as we slide up the track we clear him but Timmy Hill gets clear of myself for a brief amount of time as we exit turn four but we're going to be able to fight back to his outside here down this front straightaway but then he would actually stay clear for the brief moment but sure enough through turns three and four on the exit of lap 55 uh, or on the end of lap 55 we would get past Timmy and move up into p13 but now running out of time knowing that if we want any chance to really use these four tires to our advantage and maybe go for a win or something we need a caution now as I managed to fight a very slim margin between Ryan Priest and the wall right there and managed to get to his outside and pass him here down this back stretch on lap 57 and Priest already with the win this season locked into the playoffs with that Penske Racing Team. The only Penske car that hasn't won is the 12 of Daniel Hamrick so far. But now on lap 58, only 10 laps to go in this race. Now Chase Briscoe leading the way as they make a three wide with the JGR duo of Harrison Burton and Denny Hamlin. Burton still a young rising star in the Cup Series. Hamlin, of course, leaving the Cup Series, retiring at the end of this season now as we go down into turns one. Hamlin looking for his first ever Cup Series championship still here in the career mode as well, just like he is in real life as we exit turns two. We get past both that 19 and the 11 now as we came through on lap 62, trying to run down our teammates of Kyle Larson, Chase Allen. Elliot. Elliot having a nice top 10 run here today. I mentioned at the beginning of this race, I did change some more Cup Series driver ratings. Definitely coming in uh, clutch for Chase Elliott right now. But Kyle Busch was leading the way within the final few laps of this race. Now on the exit of turns, four on lap 63, coming to 64. We had run down our Hendrick teammates of Elliott and Larson. But Briscoe now on lap 64, back to the lead as he was scrapping it out with Kyle Busch as we go into turns three. Now an opportunity potentially here to get past Chase Elliott and maybe even Kyle Larson now as we're going to get to the outside of him. It's going to be three wide with Larson and Elliott down this front straightaway here as we come through to cross the line. Just a few laps to go in this race and we're scrapping it out with our Hendrick Motorsports teammates as we go off into turns one uh, now as Alex Bowman, the only Hendrick car not inside the top ten and we even have the Hendrick Alliance car of William Byron running top ten right now but we will get past that five for a brief amount of time. Barely find a hole there between the nine and the wall. We get to his outside with two laps to go. Briscoe still leading the way but out of turns two Kyle Busch gets past him now as we're once again battling three wide with Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson down this back straightaway. A great scrap this was with our two teammates and it felt great to be just having a nice scrap like this even if it is for 8th, ninth, and 10th years to come through turns 3 and 4 for the final time. Kyle Busch makes it back to the white flag. He's looking for his first win on the season. Another driver getting closer and closer to his retirement in the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode now as we're side by side with Larson on this final lap into turns 1 and turns 2. Tyler Reddick up there in front of us having a strong run here today for Chip Ganassi Racing just like his teammate Noah Gregson is and even Timmy Hill now as we're still side by side with Larson down the back into three and four for the final time now as we look for that eighth position Kyle Busch though leads away over Chase Briscoe out of turns four we get a great run out of turns four and we will actually clear Kyle Larson as Kyle Busch wins in Kansas and we come through to cross the line here for the eighth position so at the end of the day uh, we came in to take four tires uh, pitting from P8 gave up a bunch of track position still finished P8. So we didn't gain or lose anything uh, on the bright side now as Kyle Busch, Chase Briscoe, Cole Custer, Noah Gregson, and William Byron are your top five here today as Chase Elliott rounds out the top ten. There you see, of course, the rest of the finishing order. Bowman and the going racing car of Daniel Suarez down there in P23, P24. Haley Deegan with P29. Hamilton, 31st. Christian Eck is actually down in P33. We saw some speed in that Red Bull car early in the race. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, but Blaney with a rough finish as well. We saw some speed out of Blaney. So uh, a few drivers must have had some type of issues. Or maybe they pitted at a weird time like we did and gave up some track position or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. But there you see Kyle Busch with the victory. So, I mean, other than Brandon Jones... 
we've had a new winner in every race. Uh, now, as Jones does have two wins this season, but he is quickly falling down the points order. But I could very well see Brandon Jones get a good opportunity here in the future of the career mode now with three wins in that 96 car, which never should have happened uh, to begin with. They shouldn't even have one win. So Brandon Jones clearly proving what he can do there. As you see the point standings here on the playoff grid for the NASCAR Legend Series. And then we look at the Xfinity Series grid as well. Uh, there as we now have three drivers with multiple wins as they will be going to Talladega in the Xfinity Series next up. Uh, but in the Cup Series, that's the big one. We have another new track on the schedule for the next episode of the Cup Series, and that is Road America, already our second road course race of the season coming up to you guys in the next one. Uh, very excited for that. I feel like, just from what I've tested, that out of all the road courses in this game, Road America probably has some of the more competitive AI, so I'm very curious to see how we're going to kind of just go against these guys. Are we going to be running outside of the top 10, or are we still going to be going for wins like we usually do at road courses? I really don't know, so it's going to be interesting there. As you see, Gregson now one point below the cut line to get into that 16 drive grid uh, but of course if you guys enjoyed it you know what to do thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this episode and before we do end it of course i would like to say a quick thank you to the going racing members here on the channel mj joseph 9001 timothy arline bubba jr brett door ward dark again gar gaming aj Vasur, dana 9302 as well as russell dixon as i always mentioned you guys helped me out so so much and i really do appreciate the continued support uh each and every month that you decide to help me out so once again Thank you so much, and I'll see everybody in the next one at Road America. Have a great day, everybody.